Well, howdy there, boys and girls. Time for an updaters. Time to get you an update on the SMB intake. Well, and a lot more, but I've been slacking lately with my videos. But here we go. I installed the SMB intake system at 34, or excuse me, 36 and some change. So I rounded off 34,000, and now it's 38. So what all have has happened so i'm gonna address three issues with it well not three issues i'm gonna address three things one of them is issue second thing is gas mileage and third thing is power so here we go smb whoever's in charge of smb listen up man this thing has an issue has a problem and it's a pretty big problem so here we go smb system beautiful looks great guys i do keep the plug in there so it keeps it quieter i was just in here looking it up so I got a zip tie, and here's the issue. Great, Paul zip tie in his truck. Things are falling apart. So, for a fact, I double checked everything when I installed this kit. And I, a thousand miles later, I looked into it. There, this thing was dangling down there. The bolt came off screwed, unscrewed. And I don't know what SMB was thinking. So, they sunk in a, a, a nut in there and then a nut in there. Let me get it. Let me get in there and show you. So they did have to work, but they didn't use it. Maybe they try to use this tube for something else. So back here, you see, there's a nut. So it's usable. The the what I think is going on, the uh, the material is foamy. So with one side going all the way down, this side this side still has a little bit of movement. It rattles its way out. The bolt comes out, and you lose your sensor, and it goes dangling. Lucky me, I kept my. Uh, Whew, I kept my spacer, but I lost the material on the bolt. Call it a bolt, screw, whatever you want to do. So the solution to this, I say, is build an, another ear here. Or, yeah, call it an ear. Put a screw in there. You know, secure the spacer down firmly on both sides. I personally think the sensor is going to be just fine. And the reason I'm saying it's a major issue is just not me forgetting to screw it. Because these, this, these sensors were on their way out, too. And for a fact... I double checked this. So what did I do? I just put some locking washers in there. So SMB, build another. Add another two cents to this bracket, would you? Put another ear so you could use the, the nuts that's already sunk in the in the thing. So it'd be an easy fix. So yeah, that's the problem. Now let me get off this hood. Engine bay. Oh uh, guys, let's talk about power. This thing does not add power. This thing's it just allows more airflow allows a better power band so more usable power not more power but more usable power so what does that mean let's just say i have not put this thing on a dyno but let's just hypothetically say we got david with us today um let's just say your turk turk your torque curve came in at 1600 now it's coming in at 1500 that's all that it's doing so i read some of your comments so i was a little confused or maybe i confused you guys but you get better usable power for a fact you feel it in the seat of the pants you just you can just see how how a light throttle just goes easier which leads me to my next point as far as gas mileage to hauling your booty around that smb intake didn't do jack squat for me for several tests i've done i just did not add any, add any gas mileage with it now when i uh would tow with it yes tow with it when i towed with it I mean, I've done quite a few tows, and I do a lot of local local stuff, right? I'm seeing, on average, 0.75 to 1 mile to the gallon better when towing. Heavy or light, it's across the board, guys. Keep in mind, I'm a guy that has multiple units. I'm the guy that logs everything, keeps track of stuff. And that's my average from the variances. That is phenomenal. My next test is going to be putting in a... Uh, these systems in a towing vi uh, vehicle rig so you know my roi is going to be pretty quickly uh it's going to be a pretty quick return you know return on investment is going to be pretty darn quick on it you know if i'm getting three quarters of a gallon you know like clockwork all the time but why am i opening the door oh i'm just showing y'all that i uh i use this truck for everything haul my family around as you can tell, a bunch of chips and God knows what else is going back here. I don't know where these kids got all the sand. Man, I love my kids. I got sand everywhere in here. 
Oh, heck with it. It's a work truck. I'll clean it up. End of the week. But yeah, um, super excited about this truck. I know you guys are, some of you boys, let's talk about the fifth gen. Some of you boys are, are reading what I'm putting down. <sighs> I have nothing but good things to say about the four gens. The fifth gens, I got to make a video. It's a really hard video for me to make, but I got to say a video. Or I got to share a video because I keep getting messages from you guys saying, oh, you know, because of you, I've... I went into buying this vehicle or that vehicle. So I'll leave it for another time. But yeah, I'm super uh I feel obligated, man, with those messages. Hey, I bought this vehicle because of your help. And it's just like I don't want to mislead anyone. Hi Z. You wanna go with Papa. So anyways, boys, as always, may the Lord bless you. And may all mighty fine day and let me know in the comment section what else you guys want to know. But I'm excited to throw one of those SMB systems in one of my work rigs pulls a gooseneck full time only time it gets a gooseneck un unhooked is when it needs to pull into the shop get some services done all right guys as always may the lord bless you and may almighty fine day ciao bye